How much exercise should you get each week? Physical exercise is a great way to lead a healthy and long-lasting life while also providing the benefit of getting the figure you've always dreamed of. But how much weekly exercise do you really need? The answer depends on the type of exercise you do, the intensity and the speed, and your progression toward heavier, harder workouts. This is why it's important to know everything about your recommended exercise routine. Remember that if you do too much, it can have damaging consequences for your body. What are the consequences of too much exercise? Breakage of muscle fibers general weakness and fatigue severe muscle pain increase blood pressure decrease libido. How much weekly exercise do you really need? Most people start out with an exercise routine tailored to their body and physical endurance. However, it has to be a fully personalized activity. Not all of us are in the same condition. Plus, the different physical responses can cause a variety of consequences if you exceed your endurance limits every day, or even just once a week. To find out how much exercise you should get a week, consider what the purpose is. After all, it's not the same to exercise for weight loss as it is for physical therapy. Reducing age-related health risks. Two hours of mild exercise a day can significantly reduce your risk of a heart attack after the age of 50. By walking a few times each week, you'll fall within the normal range for a healthy person. Ideally, you can perform moderate sessions throughout the week and achieve 10 hours of total exercise. If you want to burn calories. If you're looking to burn calories through exercise, you should tailor your sessions to short, high intensity intervals. You should maximize this during your workout. If you have a gym membership, talk with a personal trainer who can introduce you to a routine that's adapted to your physical condition and your body type. To burn calories, it's ideal to get three 20-minute sessions a week. Then, gradually increase the time of your workouts as you get stronger. If you want to tone your muscles. To strengthen and tone your muscle groups, exercising too much is never a good idea. Your muscles need to rest after each session. Weight training also helps preserve your overall health. Believe it or not, doing exercises with weights and strength training reduces your risk of suffering from type 2 diabetes and high blood pressure. Sessions of around 120 minutes are recommended. Do these for 3 days a week to leave time for your muscles to rest. If you want to increase physical endurance. Does this sound like you? Then there's no better idea than to start running or training for races. 
If you want to reach that long distance mileage you have to prepare your body, and this is best achieved by training. First, however, you need to consider your physical abilities and keep your body healthy over time. Start by setting up routines that vary in length over the course of the week. Do this without exhausting your energy potential, which would only cause you to get tired too quickly. An hour a day, with one full day of rest, is enough to achieve your goals and reach the mileage that you choose. Know that the end goal is long-term endurance. In addition to having the body and health you always wanted, the hormones that are boosted by your daily exercise routine will increase your happiness levels at any age. <laughs>